the figure in the painting really captures the very best of Lichtenstein's obsession with both art history, but also the female form. She gazes out seductively. You don't exactly know what she's saying. The speech bubble is cropped. Her lips are perfectly open and enticing the viewer. There's a real seductive quality to the painting. Throughout history, painters have engaged with their art historical precedents. Picasso did it with Rembrandt, Warhol did it with da Vinci. Lichtenstein, however, doesn't take on specific artists, doesn't take on specific subjects. Instead, he takes on an entire movement. What's amazing about this particular example is it really is the very first iteration of Lichtenstein inserting the classic blonde bombshell into the surrealist landscape. In this image, Lichtenstein really collides a variety of different iconographic subjects that instantly recall famous surrealist painters, whether it's the apple from Magritte's Son of Man or the lone tree stalk, which recalls Dali's famous metaphysical landscape, The Persistence of Memory. Here, we see surrealism not through an art historical lens, but through the eyes of Lichtenstein himself. Looking at this painting within the context of the Mandel collection, it's truly remarkable to see how it bridges the boundaries between various aesthetic movements across the 20th century in a similar way that the collection itself does. The Mandels collected from Picasso to Miro to Giacometti to Warhol to Judd. It, it really is a, a voracious appreciation and understanding of art history that reflects Lichtenstein's own obsession with 20th century art. He's represented in the group by four key works, each representing a different stylistic decade of his career. The key cornerstone is really the 76 surrealist blonde, still life with head and landscape. What's exciting about this picture is it's, it's pop in its capacity to comment on the world outside, but also comment on history, comment on modes of understanding, modes of image making. It's pop at its best.